your girl Queen Aja. Thank you guys for watching. Great to be here. All right, so we got to talk about Meg, y'all. We got to talk about Meg, all right? Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop for the article. Megan Thee Stallion's new album reportedly loses 30 million streams due to alleged botting. That's a lot, y'all. That's a lot. All right? That's a lot. Okay? It says Megan has reportedly been repositioned on the Spotify charts. Late last month, Megan Thee Stallion finally unveiled her eagerly anticipated new album, Megan. So far, it's been a hit amongst the Texan-born um, performance fan base, boasting features from the likes of Glorilla and Victoria Monet. Um, unfortunately, however, it was re recently reported by No Jumper that she's had 30 million streams removed from the album on Spotify. This is rumored to uh, be due to uh, a platform detecting bot-like streams, okay? Uh, the reason the streams were removed has yet to be confirmed. Well, because it's bots. I, what do you mean the reason? Most likely it was paid bots, all right? They faking the algorithm, y'all. Uh, regardless, the reports have social media users split while many are coming to Meg's defense as it's likely she has nothing to do with the alleged botting. Okay. All right. Yeah, she don't. Allegedly. Okay. Others have been reminded of some of her own hiss lyrics about having bots instead of fans. Hmm. Interesting. Nicki Minaj and Tory Lane supporters in particular are unsurprisingly putting her on blast as the results. Duh. What you think? Those are the main people that's going to say something. The Barb's and the Tory Lane's fans. All right. Wow. So I guess she was she had like a number one uh album and now they repositioned it to number 30 on global Spotify. Wow, after losing 30 million streams, that's crazy. That's a lot, y'all. That's a lot. It says at the time of writing. Meg has yet to address the botting allegations. It doesn't seem as though she's been too phased by them. However, she recently took to Instagram to promote the European leg of the Hot Girl Summer Tour alongside Miss Banks. She's also been teasing some non-music related endeavors as of late, including an upcoming twerk out video, of course, and her own tequila brand. A timeline for those projects hasn't been announced yet, though she gave fans a first look at her tequila in May. At the time, she claimed that it will be arriving soon. She also just recently appeared on Shining Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast, celebrated her new album with Star Studded uh, Release Party and more. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. That I mean, that's 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 a lot of streams. You said, I'm confused. Do they have a bot detector? Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, yeah. You said you're embarrassed for her? Uh, Y'all know the Barbs is loving this, though. The Barbs is loving this. And the, uh, the Tory Lanez fans. The Tory Lanez fans. Do um do Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B get along again? I, I, or was that just rumors and stuff? I could be wrong. Because I, I was going to say Barty Gang can, can probably say something about it, too. But probably not. It says Megan is not the only one doing that. She's been doing for uh, for a while. She finally got caught. Well, I think a lot of people have been doing it. I think a lot of people was guilty of it, but it's still embarrassing to, you know, to get exposed. Like, that's the last thing you want to get exposed about is having bots. Like, your whole fan base look fake now. You get what I'm saying? You said Cardi and Meg are cool. Right, right. Okay, okay. Because I know they got songs together, but, you know, it'd be so many conflicting reports and rumors and stuff like that. You know, and then, you know, these people be falling out like really fast. Like they be cool and then they not cool. Because remember, Megan and Nikki was cool. Like they were literally just cool, what, a year ago? Now, so it's just like, it's hard to keep up sometimes because one minute they like each other. Oh, you said it was rumors? Okay, that, okay. I, I knew I was, uh, I knew it was a rumor. Okay, okay. You said, I'm loving it. This would expose a lot of people if they find out who has bots. Okay. You said, yes, it is. And yeah, 30 million is a lot, y'all. That's a lot of streams. Okay? That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Now you know, you know the 
Bruh, you know the Barb's is loving this, y'all. Y'all know the Barb's is loving this, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Mrs. Onika Petty, okay? Okay, Mrs. Onika Petty and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nicki Minaj, they loving this. Ba da ba ba ba, they loving it. <laughs> ba da ba ba ba, make buying and bots. Okay, we got to talk about it. So shout out to uh, shout out to Hot New Hip Hop for the article. Okay, let's keep it going, right? Let's keep it going. Cause you 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 know the barbs is loving this. I know they dragging Meg right now. Twitter so uh petty. It says Nicki Minaj has fans convinced she's uh mocking Megan the Stallion's first sales. Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop for the article. <laughs> it says is Nicki throwing shade. Uh, <laughs> come on man, come on. What you think? It says late last month. Megan Thee Stallion finally unveiled her eagerly anticipated third solo album, Megan. The album, which boasts appearances from the likes of Glorilla and UGK, has been a hit amongst fans so far. Unfortunately, however, critics have been quick to jump at, at any opportunity to drag the rapper. Okay. It says recently, for example, it was revealed that the project sold just over 64K album equivalent units in its first week which this is certainly uh, no lousy feat. Fans think her longtime rival, Nicki Minaj, is already throwing shade. Yesterday, for example, uh, Nicki Minaj took to X to share an image of Chucky wearing a devious smile and holding up a camcorder. Uh-oh. Yep, that's the Chucky meme with, uh, I think it's supposed to be Hillary Clinton face with the laugh and then with the camcorder. Y'all know this is subliminal. Y'all know dang well this is uh for Megan, but let's just say allegedly. Let's just say allegedly. Okay. Let's just say allegedly. Okay. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mrs. Onika Petty was uh was was uh throwing shade. Okay. I think she is, but that's just me. It says she didn't include a caption, leaving the meme up for interpretation, but commenters are convinced that this was directed at Meg. A few minutes later, she followed up with yet another checky image. Of course, it's unconfirmed whether or not this was intended as shade. She shared the post right as reports that Meg had millions of streams removed from her album on Spotify due to alleged botting circulated online. Come on, man. I, I, I think she I, I, <laughs> I think it's I, I think it's shade. I believe that it's shade. I think it's shade. It says, however, fortunately, it doesn't appear as though Meg is too uh bothered. Yeah, obviously she got the uh she got the UK leg of her um of her tour. But remember, uh, Nicki Minaj just had the UK leg of her tour too, right? That's where she got uh, arrested in Amsterdam, right? Was it was it Amsterdam? It says, as for Nicki, she made headlines last week for sharing a lengthy rant about her former manager Deb Antony for uh, revealing that she once uh, reached out to Lil Kim behind her back. Over the weekend, the two seemingly made amends as they were spotted together on Instagram Live previewing an unreleased song. Oh, really? Because remember, we did cover that, right? And a lot of you guys were um, were torn saying that, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj was being petty because remember, uh, Debbie wanted her to end the beef with uh, Lil' Kim. And, you know, uh, you know, uh, Onika Petty was saying like, uh, you know, I feel like that was, uh, you know, you didn't talk to me about it. That's petty. You know, uh, basically, she'll never end the the beef with uh, with Lil Kim, okay? And I'm like, yeah, but I I get it. But to me, it seemed petty. I honestly believe if all of these women like just let bygones be bygones, bury the hatchet, and make music together, man, they'll just they don't need no bots. They'll destroy the charts. If Nicki Minaj, Lil Kim, um, you know, uh, what's the uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Lotto, Ice Spice, if all of them just literally get on one song on some This Is Ladies Night, you know what I'm saying? Remember Ladies Night with Missy Elliott, Lil Kim, all the girls, uh, with, uh, um, uh, Moulin Rouge, right? Remember that song with um, Maya, uh, Christina Aguilera, Lil Kim, Pink? Man, if they do that, man, they'll destroy the charts. 
But, you know, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. How y'all feel about this, though? How y'all feel about this? You said Amsterdam and going to Manchester, they would not let her fly. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what happened, right? With Nikki. You said word on the street. I heard Megan is a man. Alleg allegedly, man. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Um, Let me see. Let me see. You said... um. You said she's a hater to be the queen of rap. Nikki moves like a hating jealous bee with that dark, bad energy she has. I used to love Nikki, but I can't stand her. The wicked jealous streak. I mean, you know, she is the common denominator, man. I mean, she ain't cool with nobody. She be cool with people and then they don't be cool no more. Like you was cool with Meg. Now you're not cool no more. You was cool with Ice Spice. You're not cool no more. You was cool with Cardi B, I believe, right? At one point, they're not cool no more. Lotto too, right? Like, I mean, uh, Nikki's looking like the problem, okay? You know? You said, so she bought her own album, or maybe it's the labels. I don't know. You know? I don't know. Uh, you said, as if Nikki wasn't invested in... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so you saying she, she probably bought Boss too? Or you saying you think everybody is uh, guilty of it? 30 million? Yeah, 30 million is insane. That's that's a lot. That's that's yeah, that's a lot. That's too much to ignore. You know, that's that's definitely a lot to ignore. Makes sense because her music don't hit like it used to. Right. Big old freak. None of that music that she got now definitely don't compare to her old music. Um, you said I'm a stand, I'll update you with the T if anything new happened. Oh, you a oh you a barb? You a barb or you a hottie? You a barb or you a hottie? Um, yeah, man, this this is crazy though, man. I mean, this this is insane. Yeah, Ladies Night was the song, right? I used to like that song, man. That's that '90s. That's what I grew up with. Uh, you can respect her hustle and talent without respecting how she moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all celebrities, honestly. I mean, if if that's the case, yeah, I don't like none of these people. Um, you said some of those women in the '90s. Uh, yeah, they had hits, man. Yeah, they had hits. These women in this, in this generation don't have no talent. Man, yeah, Foxy Brown. Uh, like I said, what, Lil' Kim, Trina even had, you know, some catchy music. Um, yeah, it's just not the same no more, man. Missy Elliott is the GOAT, though. Missy Elliott definitely is the GOAT. I think people should talk about her a lot more. You said, uh-oh, you a, you a, you Barty Gang and you a hottie? Uh-oh. Yeah, none of them like me because I talk about I talk about them. It's not just uh the rock tards, y'all, the rocker felons, the unstable creatures. It's uh everybody because I'm a celebrity blogger and I'm gonna talk about everybody. So they don't like me. I, I keep I cut it right down the middle. I cut I cut it so the body gang don't like me sometimes. Hotties don't like me. Um, like I said, with uh, the rock tards, whoever the, the barbs, whoever the case may be. Um, you said is Lauren putting out a new album? That's what they said. It's rumored that she's working on the second album. I personally think it's too late. I think it's too late, but hey, you know, I don't want her to mess up the legacy because if it's not hitting like that first album, people go, and that's that's too much to live up to, y'all. Y'all know how that is. Like it's hard to hit heights like that. Like literally, people argue that Lauren Hill album is arguably the best album ever. The best hip hop album ever, the best R and B album ever. That miseducation of Lauren Hill, I mean Lauren Hill, is it's fire, man. So, woo to try to like come back. What maybe almost thirty years later? I think that album came out in what ninety seven, ninety eight. Almost thirty years later, she been she been eating good off of one album, y'all. That's crazy, right? You said out the industry won't let these ladies squash beef and collaborate drama and beef sale. Yeah, I hear you, but. You know, I think it's motivated by them too, though. I, I genuinely think a lot of these women don't like each other. You said I didn't care for Megan songs either. She needs to go back to her old formula. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see. You say you just like good music? Yeah, me too. Me too. You said uh, Cardi is more than likely pregnant again. Yeah, it seems like every time she's supposed to got, have an album come out, she's supposed to be working on a new album, she get pregnant. So... Cardi B looking, Cardi B almost looking into that Lauren Hill to a lower, lower, lower tier, obviously. But she looking like she gonna be a Lauren Hill because she living off one album. That album came out seven, what, almost eight years ago? 
It's a good album, but like, oh, uh, girl, you, you need some new music. All these features ain't cutting it. You know, all, all, all these features ain't cutting it. You say you think Lauren Hill can do it? Okay. Okay. It, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting if she can come out with a new uh, banger. Okay. Um, You say, yeah, but no, I can hit uh, Lauren Hill. She can hit it. She still got a whole other talent at her age. Um, she can rap, hip hop, soul singer. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've heard some of her, uh, her new, um, her new, um, like shows and stuff like that. And I don't know what happened to her voice. It ain't hitting like it used to. I'm not sure what, what, what the lady been up to. And you know, Lauren Hill is known for not showing up to her shows or showing up like four or five hours late. It's crazy. It's crazy. You said, I think uh, Lauren still has it. Bonus, her son is tapping into her, uh, his grandfather's. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard his song. He got some good music. He got some good music. 